yes all right my dear friend welcome back to the channel it is an exciting friday night yeah whatever you are my dear friend i want you to enjoy this because i am excited a lot of things that are coming up after the press conference of the coach all that he said i'll give you some one or two excerpts from his statement that he made at the press conference then i'll hit the nail on the head i'll hit the nail on the head what is in the news coming up Mauricio Pochettino on Chiwa and Chukwemeka's chances tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. What else do you want to hear? Coming up, Victor Osimen. <laughs> Coming up, and not just Victor Osimen. Exclusively, a lot is happening about Victor Osimen. Wait for it. I will give you the full detail soon, soon. Coming up, Amanda Broha getting chances tomorrow in the absence of Jackson. Yes, the coach spoke about it. Coming up, questions on Conor Gallagher and what the coach has to say about him. Yes, Pochettino admits the domestic caps are important as a route into Europe. Wait a minute, don't go anywhere. I shall be back. This is Salon's blog, my dear friend. Welcome to the channel. I'm glad, I'm excited because I am full of energy. The news that are coming up, I am full of energy. Tomorrow, Princeton, we are going in to get a three point. It is very important. It should be a walkover game. It should be, with all due respect to, to Princeton, that game at Stanford Bridge will be a walkover game. So I'm not going to waste my time. Let's hit the ground running quickly, quickly. Quickly, let's get hit the ground running. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mauricio Pochettino on Ben Chiwa and Chukwemeka chances tomorrow. Lavia and anyone else. <laughs> I have already given you the injury list, right, in my previous, previous episode. Now, Chiwa and Kane are not available for tomorrow, according to the gaffer. We will see for the next game, Middlesbrough or Fulham. They are doing well. We are happy with their evolution. Lavia is recovering after his injury. We don't know when he will return. Problem in his squad during the game against Palace. Benoit, I think, is going to be available next week. Jesus help me. <laughs> Nothing. The coach said, Jesus will help him. He's calling out on Jesus. <laughs> the girls of Chelsea, where are you? Help our coach. Help our coach. He need help. He need help. Listen, my major concern here, which I said earlier on in the previous video, is Lavia coming up for 30 minutes of game and going back to the medical room again. Romeo Lavia. That is my major challenge, my major problem. What is wrong with our medical team, medical department? Is it about the medical department, the uh, physiotherapist, or is it from the, from the technical people? That's the coach, the style of training. Is it the style of training that is affecting our players? Or what exactly is happening? It's a question you need to help me to answer. We need answers, so help me to answer that. So, according to our coach, Chiwa will not be available, Chukemeka will not be available, Lavi will not be available, and Benoit Badoshelli will only be available next week. Next week. All right, all right, all right. No problem, no problem. We, we move on. Mauricio Pochettino again was, or was asked about Armando Broha getting his chance now that Jackson is away. What did he have to say? This is what he said. Armando, it is a possibility to play for him. Yeah. I'm going to tell you Christoph is not going to start tomorrow as he suffered issues during the week, but he's going to be in the squad. We need to be careful with him. Armando has the possibility to be more involved as he is one of our main strikers. Amazing potential and qualities, and now is to forget his injury of last year. I will start from the ending part. Now is the time for him to forget the injury from the past year it means that the injury from the past year is still playing in his head and if that happens it, it, it affects your performances that if that happens it puts fears in you you wouldn't like to fight for the ball as you have to you would you you'll be more careful about your legs <clears throat> you'll be careful about what to do on the pitch you will not be able to give all if that injury is still playing in his head he said it's now time for him to do what? To forget his injury of last year. It means that they have realized Amando's problem right now is in his brain. The injury situation is still playing in his head. So he's been a bit careful by himself. 
He doesn't want to go back. And of course, I wouldn't blame him. I would not blame him. We've seen, uh, how do you call him? Romeo Levia came back only 13 minutes and he's gone back to the medical room. He's gone back to the medical room. So I wouldn't blame Amanda Bura for being careful. If our players will come back from the medical room, from rehabilitation, and then 20 minutes of game, 30 minutes of game, they are going back. Then and another player has been careful with his injury situation. He's still playing in his head. I don't want to go back. Let me be careful. Will, will you blame such a person? I don't think so. I don't think so. Then Christopher Nkuku, who played the last game, the coach is now saying, what? I am going to tell you Christoph is not going to start tomorrow as he suffered issues during the week. What issues did Christopher Nkuku suffer again during the week? Is it the same technical, uh, how do you call it? Physical issues, medical issues, health issues. What issues did Christopher Nkuku suffer during the week? These are questions. He'll be on the bench. Yes. Will he be coming in in the last 15, 20 minutes? We can't tell. But I believe if a player is on the bench, it means that he has a chance to play. Maybe part of the game. So these are issues that our club needs to be answering. What is wrong with our medical department? They need to come forth and speak on issues. Honestly. Honestly. All right. The next question was to him was on Conor Gallagher. He said, forgive me for asking about Conor. Can you guarantee he will be here at the end of the month? This was a question posed to him by a journalist. He said, forgive me for asking about Conor. Can you guarantee he will be here at the end of the month? And this was his response. He said, you are forgiven. <laughs> you are forgiven. That was his first answer. He said, look, I cannot guarantee I will be here tomorrow. So he cannot guarantee that even he himself will be here tomorrow. So why, how can he guarantee for Conor Gallagher? <laughs> in football, with us, it's different part of things. Can, different part of things can happen. Decisions between the club and player. Only the player can guarantee, or the club. Only the player or the club can guarantee. The player more than the club, as the player have one year and a half more. So right now, he, he said it very clearly, Conor Gallagher have a leverage over the, over the club. He can decide not to sign the deal and stay put until his contract expires. So the player can decide on what to do. If the club is trying to do something that he doesn't like, for instance, he don't want to give you what he wants. You can choose not to go, whatever you want to sell. I have an agreement with you until my, my agreement is fired. I'm not moving anywhere. He can decide to stay. And if he stays, it means that he's going to run down his contract. So the player, more than the club, as the player have one year and a half more, he can say, I'll be here because my contract allows me to be here. It's about making the right decisions for the club, the player, and the team. So Conor Gallagher has a leverage over the club. If the club don't want to do what is right, and as a matter of fact, we are hoping and waiting for a club statement on this issue before the end of this transfer window. Yeah. All right. Poch admits that domestic caps are important as a route into Europe. Yes. Domestic caps are very important as a route to Europe. If you want to play in, a, in Europe next season, we must be able to quality, you know, play these cup games. The EFL Cup, if we win the EFL Cup, we will end up playing Conference League. If we win the uh, FA Cup, we will end up playing Europa League. So we need to have these two in mind. That is why we must fight to win any of the Cups. That winning the Carabao Cup gets you into the Conference League. That's the EFL Cup. Winning the FA Cup gets you into the Europa League. Dear friend, we still have opportunity to play in Europe next year. It doesn't matter whether it's Conference League or Europa League. What matters is that we will have to win any of this. And we can equally get into the top four. The first half of the season is over. If in the first half of the season, we are on 10th position, right? What we need right now, we need to win five games continuously, consecutively. Five games in the, in the, in the EPL, in the league. Five games consecutively. We are already there. 
It means that the teams that beat us before, we are beating them all. The teams that took away points from us, we are taking the points back from them. We will, will be there. So we cannot rule out our chances yet from being in the Champions League next season. All right? Okay, Chelsea will end just under £50 million this season combined from Infinite Athletes and Binge X. Binge X is our new sponsor. And combined with Infinite Athletes, we're going to earn a little under £50 million this season from these two sponsors. That is quite a huge amount. That is quite good. What do you think? Let me hear from the comment section there. Yeah. Yeah. That's, and I like the Infinite Athlete. I like the design. I'm still here to get my own jersey. But I like the design. I like the way it looks. It's very simple. It's, you know, it's, even though I still love my Samsung, I will, I'm working on it very soon. It will be delivered to me from the UK. Original one. I don't wear fake, my dear friend. Uh, <laughs> All right. Let's get to the main issue of the day. Yes, the main issue of the day. I will come back to the rest of the things that the coach has to say. But the main issue, Victor Osimen. Victor Osimen will be ready to sign pre-agreement in January. <coughs> Victor Osimen will be ready to sign pre-agreement in January. That will see him officially move to Chelsea in the summer. I said it before. Now it is time. The confirmation is coming through. That is why I'm smiling. That's why I'm full of energy. <laughs> Multiple sources in Italy expect movement in the coming weeks. Drogba and Mikel have been in regular contact with their country man. Listen, let me leave it here. I will be back. In the next episode, the focus will be on Victor Osimhen. Watch out for that. Watch out for that in the next episode. The focus will be on Victor Osimhen. So watch out. I shall be back. Yes, I will be back on this issue again in the next episode. See you when you see me. Shalom. And peace. Have a great night, my friend.